In today's video, I will show you guys how to fix Outlook error. Step one, check internet connectivity. Ensure your internet connection is stable and working properly. Step two, increase server timeouts. Outlook's default server timeout settings might be too short. Increasing them can help with slow connections. Open Outlook, File, Account Settings. Select the affected email account and click More Settings. Advanced, increase the Send Timeout and Receive Timeout values. Step 3. Disable Windows Firewall and Antivirus temporarily. Sometimes firewalls and antivirus software can interfere with Outlook's connection. Open Windows Control Panel, Windows Firewall. Click Turn Windows Firewall on or off and select Turn off Windows Firewall. Restart Outlook and try connecting. Step 4. Check for faulty Outlook settings. Open Microsoft Outlook and click on the File tab. Select Account Settings. In the Email tab, select the corrupt Outlook profile you want to fix and hit Repair. After the completion of the Outlook repair process, click Finish. Step 5. Run ScanPST. Locate ScanPST.exe and open it. Select the corrupt slash damaged PST file. You can use the Browse option to locate and select your PST file. Click on Start. After the completion of the repairing process, you can access your Outlook emails. Step 6. Using Remo Repair, Outlook PST to fix Outlook error. Download and install Remo Repair, Outlook PST tool. Open default PST file. This option locates your corrupt Outlook profile from its default location. Select PST file manually. You can manually locate the corrupt Outlook PST file you want to fix. Find all your PST files. If you have multiple Outlook PST files, you can use this option. Click Next. Click the Browse button to select the location of your choice to save the repaired Outlook PST file and click the Repair option. Once the Outlook profile repairing process completes, you can view your repaired PST file. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the Outlook error. To know more on Outlook errors, click on the link in description.